guys, we're out here shrimp trawling off the coast of Beaufort, South Carolina, pulling a 25 foot trawl net with a 17 foot boat. I'm glad you guys are enjoying our shrimp trawling videos. I got some news for you guys. We have just went out and purchased a 25 foot Parker that we're gonna be pulling a 42 foot trawl net. Wouldn't you know it? Issues, B-O-A-T, what does it stand for? Break out another thousand, right? And that's what's happened to us. Uh, unforeseen problems that I don't think anybody could have uh, seen coming. It's just, you know, dealing with an old, older boat. It's a 1988 model. It's powered by a 5.7 liter Mer Cruiser. And the engine coupler going to the outdrive has actually stripped out on the boat. We're in the process of getting that straightened out so we can bring you guys out here on a little bit of a different style boat where we'll have rigging. We'll be able to pull a bigger net and we'll be hoping for them big pulls. But today, we just want to show you what we're catching in this 25 foot trawl net. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Let's go. Right here, but the birds, they are just covering our net and we're seeing shrimp jumping all behind the boat. I think we're on them this morning. I hope so, y'all. We just a look. Okay, guys, we just dropped our pool ropes and we're going around to our tail bag on our 25 foot shrimp trawl net to let you guys get a look at what we have in our catch today. First pool. We're hoping for a good pool here. That water's muddy. You can see our leading edge of our trail crawl net right there guys look at the shrimp in there i'm seeing the shrimp look at them Sly. what matters is what's in the back of this tail bag though right that's right that little bit of shrimp right there ain't gonna make a big difference we're hoping for that big pool I'm happy with that. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. See some shrimpies. That was a that's one after. about a 50, 45 to 50 minute trawl we just made. And I'm gonna guess at 10 to 15 pounds of shrimp heads off. Um, you're looking at a good 30 pounds of shrimp in here close. Yeah, buddy. So it may even be, you know, a few more pounds than that heads off. And let's see how clean they are, guys. I know this is what you guys want to see. I see it in the YouTube video analytics. And, you know, this is what I come out here to show you guys. Big old blue crab in there. Look at him, guys. We'll shake him on down in here, too. Get him out of that tail bag. We don't want nothing in this tail bag beauties nice. we got some beauties guys they are mixed up a little bit i'm seeing a couple small ones see that but good medium large shrimp and we'll call out some of those small shrimp and separate the medium and large and stuff but right now i need to tie, tie this tail bag back up i don't want to be trawling around with this thing open you know Oh, your catch going right out the back of the net. Who wants to do that all day? Remember, these things are important if you decide that you would like to try this. We're just going to throw that back out, throw this boy back out, get around to our tall tail line, get hooked back up. These birds and stuff just love following us around especially when we start uh 
deheading these shrimp and getting this bycatch out. But right now we just need to be very careful. Get back over to this tail rope. Steph's gonna grab that um, buoy with this hook she has right here. And we're gonna hook it back to our block. You can see the block. Right now we're just pulling the net up in about four foot of water. You know, since we're having to drop the net, the doors are acting like anchors. Holding the net in place, holding it up, open, and then we've uh, positioned ourselves up current. We are up current from the net. That way, when we're pulling the net, checking the tail trawl bag, it'll go out right behind the net and stay in that position because of the water current and we're coming back around i'm trying to remember about where you know i was straight and in line and watch this you just start back out those those uh doors will pop right back up and start planing left to right pulling our net open and we're back trawling we're gonna get this little table set up and start sorting some of this stuff here Blue crab, see the difference there? Hold his hands for a second. Little apron crab. on the bottom determines the difference. The pointy one is your blue male, uh, the rounded female. Mature female at that. And we could keep those crabs if we wanted to, as long as they're legal size limit. Anything we catch in our catch that's legal size limit, we are able to keep them just like anybody else out here fishing or anything but we're after those big beautiful white shrimp right here in the saint helena sound you can see we got a little two by four foot piece of plywood with a little trim board around it that's what we're using for our coil board on this little small boat that's maneuverable and you guys ever heard of a row shrimp? Take a look at this right here, guys. You see that white look right there across the back of that shrimp? It starts right there at this head and goes down that back. That is uh, the rope, the eggs. And to dehead a shrimp, very simple, very easy. Grab him right there in that joint behind his head. There's your de-headed row shrimp. And look up in there, a little bit of white that you can see right there, down in that canal. That's the egg that we're talking about. Little old tiny little shrimp there, look at that. of this fish that we're getting in the net we try to get them back in the water but you see what's chasing us and lots of dolphin so you know some of this bycatch doesn't make it we're hoping with the new boat and a different trawl net we're going to be running a tid which is a turtle excluder and hopefully we don't have as much big catch a lot of this little stuff will still make it through that turtle excluder though so got this little fella right here showing will. I don't know we went one way and the other so we'll get with you guys on that next pool we'll show you what we got pool number two guy out right here guys you see how 
how white looking that shrimp is right there compared to these other shrimp. This is what they call a cotton shrimp. If you're ever out shrimping and you run across one of these guys, it's okay that he's that white. He's still perfectly good to eat. And you can see those shrimp, they're adding up. We're getting through this catch. We're getting them sorted. Staff's doing a good job, Staff. The Sudani out here with us. I think that's a guy. Who, all I know him as is maybe Mr. Danny. We got another boat out here with us, Mr. Don. I hear you guys talking on the radio and stuff out here. I'm just trying to, you know, mind my own business. I'm, you know, but I do love to hear you guys out here. Just see you out here each and every day, and I wish you guys the best of luck out here each and every day hard work we got a barge coming in behind us back here guys what'd you say time there's no place that I would rather be I'd rather be right here on this boat out here just enjoying this beauty all around us watching these guys come by shrimping and pushing these barges imagining the life that they live out on the water also right here in Beaufort South Carolina how it's just going around to the side guys don't worry about that in your turns too much that that ain't gonna make a big difference as long as you see those two outside tall doors down and turning behind you and we're making our turn to go back into the channel and watching out for this guy also out here on the water uh, two barges with a tug pushing them from the back out there he's got a big old crane there and Big track hook. Huh? So now you can see right here, you know, the three lines are spread back out. We're about in downwind or situation from the wind and we turn back to the tide get this thing straight now get back to catching them shrimpies that's a big boy red legs see how what people call like shrimp with red legs when they're catching them how much redder the legs are on this big guy right here we're seeing some nice shrimp out here Thank the good Lord, right? We're in about seven to eight foot of water now, so getting ready to check this trawl tail bag again. Let's see what we have. Yeah, a little chop out 
here, everything's going pretty good. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's great weather. Temperature's good. It's kind of gray today. See some shrimp up here in the top of our tail bag, for sure. Feeling heavy. Sometimes ain't a good thing for us. Without a Ted being in our net, could be a shark, stingray, anything. We're hoping for the shrimp. Yeah, I hope it's a big ball of shrimp. Oh man. See a gar. Oh, and a shark. So we definitely got some things to show you in this one. Shopping that shark smell. Oliver's trying to get them wrangled in here while I let you guys watch. Keep that old shark away from me. And that's the gar sticking out the, the bill of the gar. Oh, we got some big shrimp. Big shrimp. He's trying to get that untied. Got a stingray down in here. Never know what you might pull up off the bottom trawl. You want to come around this way? <laughs> Small boat. Big problem. Here we go. We're in position to get a dump. You guys have taken over my hill. Right stuff. We're dolphin watching. Nah, we were watching you. At least. Be like some of our friends say, what can I say to help you? And one thing that we're gonna like about the, the bigger boat that we're getting, you know, it's got a coil tail. That boat, um, we'll be able to pull the tail bag up, dump it on a coil table, and you know, instead of handling these sharks and stuff like that, we'll be able to just slide them off to a coil table out of the back of the boat. Hopefully we won't even get the sharks this size because that net has that um, Ted in it, right. which will hopefully push anything that size on out shouldn't be able to go through the bars so this guy here oh he gets his gloves on to get these guys out Let's see if we can see some of these pretty dolphin over here no oh there's one You still working on them gloves, Oliver? Still Didn't you give me a hard time about on. my gloves one time before in a previous video? Look at the size of this gar. Turn around and let them see how wide he is compared to you. Oh. That's just our drink cooler, guys. That's what you've been hearing sloshing all around up there. Had it moved out of the way. I got him pretty firm on the back of his head. Yeah, and you got both hands to work with, so. That's right. That little fella, he's we all right. We won't you. These he little gone. guys right here, the stingrays with the barbs, you'd be surprised how far back they can reach and grab, so. Oh yeah, they're acrobatic. I'd definitely like to grab them with something. That barb right there on his tail. He can actually come all the way back around to his head. And get you. That cow nose. This is one of the cow nose rays. They have a barb as well. And I'm actually seeing closer. um in this area down here where they actually harvest these guys to sell to sell to people for shark fishing and stuff in our area. All in all, guys, we got to say that was a pretty good pull. Yeah, that was nice. We can't complain. 
right, let's go hook back up and get these. We'll get hooked back up. We'll get back to trawling, show you guys a little bit more stuff in action in the next pool. Let's see who's coming to get this little fish here. Oh, oh that seagull got up. That dolphin was right there coming for it though. I knew he probably was. And that little guy's still alive. Let's see if you can. All right, guy, you better start swimming. Did you see that big mouth over there looking after it? I'd be glad to get you That's for a snack. That's the most exciting thing about the new boat is we'll have more space to work and have winches and stuff. And man, I hope you guys are hitting that subscribe button for us so you guys can check out this boat we're getting and you know help us to understand it more by leaving us comments because we are amateurs we are out here doing shrimp trawling on the amateur level what i would call it but we're about to move up and we try our best to take you guys along so if it's bumpy and rolly and the water's moving you know you guys just y'all are in the boat with us so y'all just have to rock and roll with us Right? We're doing our best. <laughs> Bring it That's all we can do. This ain't Hollywood. If you're looking for Hollywood, you click on over there on that Netflix side. I think they got a lot of movies. 5.5 foot of water, and we're about to make another pull on this shrimp trawl net with you guys. And look how pretty it has turned out to be today. Yeah, it's gorgeous out here today. Oliver said he was going to do the pulling for you guys today, so letting him pull in this rope. Save my old back a little bit. I'm seeing some shrimp. Have to get it turned sideways a little bit. Check out this tail bag for y'all. Uh oh. Another shark. Looks like the shrimp have slacked off. Stop. Yep. Tail bag we'll take a quick look. Might want to try trawling a different area on the next pull. We'll run a different pattern. See if we get a little more. What you think, Steph? Yeah. You want to do that? That's what you want to do. You're the captain. I'll, I'll just ride along with you. There's a few more shrimp in there. Let me shake them back down to you. A few more is better than nothing. Well, guys are lucky there's no birds or dolphin right here around us right this moment. We start throwing all these fellas back that we don't want. They're probably going to be. I'll let Oliver grab this little bonnet head since he has both hands. I mean, you guys are worried about coming out here and trawling and feeding all the dolphin and the seagulls. <laughs> I prefer not to do that myself. Yeah, we hope we don't have stuff to give them, but here. Oh, yeah, you get that shark out first. Little bonnet head. Pretty bonnet head. Mm -hmm. Two and a half footer. All right, bye, fella. Stay out of those nets. Hog choker. It's a big one. It's about as big as these guys get. Oh, look at the little southern flounder here. 
little spot. Is that the southern flounder? He's awfully wide. Yeah, he is wide. I don't know what he was exactly. I thought it was, but he oh. is wider than I expected. Him to cool be. little fellow to see, though, right? Oh yeah. A little whiting right Spots. here. A little small whiting. See? A little silver perch. That's a pretty little guy. Alright, here you hold this. Let me get this undone. here and hang out with you guys all day we got to get back to work we definitely got to get back to work we got to pull 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 if we want to catch shrimp we need to be out here pulling 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 a little mantis shrimp you see his little mantis arms sticking the out best there? out of eyesight in the world the mantis they got little points all over their bottom here we go guys one last look in this shrimp trawl bag there's 25 foot shrimp trawl bag We changed a little bit of location. Want to just try this spot here, you know. That's what we are here to do. Just try different areas. Shark. Oh, shark. Baby Gee. shark. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Look at that dolphin. And look at these shrimpies. Another gar, too. Wow. And another big cow nose ray in there. Hmm. Wait, is this a repeat of the same exact one? Deja vu? It does look like a repeat though, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shark, gar, cow nose ray. We got a lot of mess to sort through in here. It's got some big stuff in this catch. That gar does have some teethies. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm trying to get you at an angle where you can see that whole line of teeth there. So, some people don't know that there are garfish in salt water. We were kind of amazed by it when we first knew it. Big bag. You need me to help you? You got it. I believe I got it. Yep. Pulled it inside the boat and everything. Mm -hmm. Y'all making him have to work hard. Didn't I do good? Yep. Oh, there's two sharks in there. In that gar. I can see his teeth there now. Ooh. See his teeth too. And that one's teeth. And that guy's waiting on us to get rid of some of this that we don't want. Got some big boys in here. Another bonnet here. I think he's gonna be fine. Yeah, he just got to catch his breath. Get some water. Oh, oh. Through the gill. He got the tail kick, didn't he? Yeah. This is the big guy here. We definitely don't want him to head shake on us. Be careful with this one. They are strong. A little bigger bonnet head. Is that another ray down in there? Yeah, I seen the cow nose ray down there. Get 
Yep, there he is. And again, they do have a barb, guys, so be careful with them. Oh, look at there. It looks like the shark's been eating on him. Uh-oh. Yeah. I don't know if he, if they better not turn him around. You two might so block that. Check this out, guys. Looks like we got a lot more shrimp, but look. Look at the size of them. A lot of little bait shrimp. Oh, yeah. So definitely not what we're looking for. We're looking for these bigger shrimp. But anyhow, today's been a beautiful day to bring you guys back out on the water of the Beaufort, South Carolina shrimp trawling with us. Just wanted to give you another look at how we do it here and, you know, show you some of the things that we have in our catch. We're looking forward for that, to that big boat getting it running, getting you guys out here with us and see what we can catch with that big guy. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Come along with us on other videos right here in Beaufort, South Carolina, and we'll see you. Thank all you guys for watching.